God. Knee onto the chest, high. I'm going to reach up, pull. Okay, figure a fall lock on. Overhook him instantly. Sometimes they can land hand on chest, they can land to the side. There's lots of things I can do from here. I can still take this leg and I can, I can submit from here, but I can also roll in from here as well. Okay, so there's, lot, there's lots of variations from this. But if he lands to the side, I'm going to overhook quickly. Okay, leg slides down, takes the leg out. Feel that in your calf. Okay, extend it and really tighten it, but not enough that you're going to hurt him. Yeah, yeah. Armpit, and then roll up, straight over, left roll, side controls. Okay. Okay, here, yeah, I'm going to reach up, pull, figure up, roll up, overhook. Feel here, and you can see everyone from behind me. Yeah. And I bring the other leg sort of together while I look for the foot. Yeah. Okay, then I take the leg out, straight into the armpit, and roll in. Okay, last time. You'll feel when you're practicing this yeah. that you have to move. Once you've got the figure of fall lock on here, you turn to your side. As you're fishing for his leg, both legs come and meet together. And you'll feel that you have to. Wiggle it. Wiggle, wiggle it a bit so you end up on your back and then when you extend the leg out you feel the weight lift off because yeah. you've sort of disbalanced it. Then once you've got the overhook in the arm they go quite easily but it takes a little bit of a snap of the hip to pull it off. So this way, other way. Get that leg in. Get this leg in here. I'm going to start there. Okay. Now get this through a bit more. Straight away, you're going to reach up, grab his neck, and as you pull him down, right, overhook him with this hand, and get it really tight, as tight as you can, right, and pin your elbow down. Then you're going to kick your leg through, and it's going to go behind here, so we've now got what's called a figure of four lock. Start to feel to his foot with this, and take your leg, your other leg with it, okay? Now, take your legs out as far as they'll go. So you want to feel his ankle bone on your toes, Right, see now, yeah, yeah. so on the soft bit of your foot here, you can feel the ankle yeah. bone. That's when you know you've got the grapevine on properly. Yeah, it okay? It's yeah. a double leg grapevine, yeah. and it's called a grapevine because it's intertwining yeah. with his legs. Okay, you can use a single leg grapevine, yeah. one leg you tie them up, but two is much stronger. Yeah. So, you take his, his leg out, you've overhooked tight and you've kept your elbow close. Now this arm's going to go into his armpit. Okay. Now you're just going to gently sort of bring your legs and wiggle your hips and roll straight over. Okay, and then we let go and we go just mount to side. As we said before, we could go into mount, yeah. we could go into scarf, there's lots of variables on it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Pull down, overhook tight, squeeze your elbow down, find this, get the figure of four off, find this foot. Take your second leg out to your ankle bone, squeeze and go, fast. And over, nice. Well done boys. Good, so now, we're going to practice it 10 times.